Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about this fixture dot native element. So how to access the template, the elements in the component. So we have seen. Now in this video, we will try to see the another method of getting these all template elements, HTML element in the template component. Let's try to see. Why? Because we are learning about the another method as we already learned in the uh, angular test bed getting the elements thing about the native element and the debug element so while learning those are these two things we have learned the drawbacks of this native element and why we need why we don't why why we should not use the native element also we have seen why because if you are if the angular project is running in the browser so we will be able to get this native elements why because the dom api will be existing in the browser so when you try to get it like something like picture dot native element you will be able to get it but when this angular application or test cases are running in a non non in a server side rendering or a non browser thing this native element thing will not be present why because so it is not running in the browser browser thing first of all and also you will not able to get this dom api methods like native element query selector and these all things so these things will fail because of that reason angular provides us a handy and convenient method that is nothing but a debug element so debug element will provide a wrapper to the uh, wrapper just like the fixture how the component fixture will be there for the component instance and the template how this component create component will give you the component fixture in the same scenario this fixture has an another method that is debug element so using that debug element we can query the we can query the traverse through the elements that are present in the template so that we can get that exact element so using this debug element let's try to see how to how we can get that uh, element using the debug element let's try to see so here I am writing the same code. Let's try to copy and paste it here. Okay. So it should render the post title in angular element using debug element. So this time it should get using the debug element. So this is the thing which well, this is the code which we are trying to write it. So here what I will be trying to do is. So here we are having a constant post. Okay fine. So we are using this component at post is equal to post. Okay fine. So we are adding it to the component instance. So fixture dot detect changes it will run the ng on init and all those things so to update the state so now here <coughs> we are having the post element so instead of this post element what i will try to do is so here i will try to do post debug element or otherwise you can get the something like post debug element so now this is not a html element this will be a debug element and here i will try to get debug element instead of this native element so now we got the debug element now here we need to get the a element right so we need to get the a element so i am renaming the player name so that we cannot we, it could not create a confusion to the previous test case and this test case so now this a element so how we can do this one so here we got the debug element so debug element if whenever you get this debug element it has a wrapper okay so now let's try to do fixture dot okay fixture dot oh, sorry so there is no need to use this fixture dot debug element so now you need to get this post debug element okay and instead of using this query selector angle the debug element has an handy method that is nothing but query and the query all so you most of the most of the time you will be using these two things only query and query all so query all means it will give you all the uh, nodes that are present so for example if you are having more than one anchor element means so you can use this query all to get all the anchor elements so right now we know that we have only one one anchor element so i can use this query so it will give you only the single node so query of and this query will take a predicate so as we already learned about this one so query takes a predicate so this predicate you will be using a static method that is by so this one is provided in the angular slash platform browser so you'll be able to see here by angular slash platform browser so this we need to use by dot and you will you will be having some handy methods here css directive so when we are trying to test the directives you will try to use this directive so right now we will be using this css by dot css and inside this by dot css we you can write the jquery selectors or the css selectors what we have learned previously so you can use any jquery selectors or something like that so right now i will be using the tag name okay so if you want means if you are having a id you can use something like hash or dot like this you can use it not a problem 
so now this one you will be using like this instead of using the query selector we need to use query of by dot css of by dot css inside this by dot css you can use the jquery selectors or css selectors now you will get by now you will get the here again the debug element now what you will try to do now this one we need to unwrap it unwrap it to get the html element so now you can use the native element here you can use this directly native element okay so now here if you try to see here you will be getting of type any and here you can use a element okay a element dot text content okay you can use this text content okay so now here if you want you can change it to uh, html element so that you can get the uh, what i can say you can get this all the so here you can get this all things so here text content yeah here you can get the intelligence okay so a element dot text content dot come to contain post dot title so now let's try to execute this one so if you try to see here so already the test cases are running if i try to see here if you are able to see here should render the post title in the anchor element using debug element so we are able to successfully execute this t, uh, test case now if you try to see again let's try to change the post dot title to post dot body so that it will throw an error or not let's try to see it if i see here so now it got a, an error expected title one to contain body one so we are getting title one but we are checking it with the body one so which the test case has been failed so here i can change it to post dot title so this is how we will be using the debug element now you may be a getting no you may be getting doubt that why i need to use this debug element so here it is fine right so native element and all those things is working fine so directly i can use the fixture dot native element so that i can get the root node that means template root node so here this this div root root node and here i can use the query selector so that we can get the anchor element instead of doing getting this debug element and to doing this all div query by css and all those things so this is a very much easy right so you can think like that right so but that is not the case why because i am why why because i am telling you when we are learning about the when we are trying to test the chain components and all those things so this debug elements comes very handy why because so now here if you want to get the component instance i can get this component instance directly so here you will be able to see the intel sense right so again i get, get go back here to get the component instance so that is nothing but this component i can get it and also you will be having by dot css you are checking so when you are trying to test these all uh, directives and all those things something like for example this router link okay when you are using this uh, query selector and native link so this router link this native element could not able to understand whereas this debug element so it could able to understand about the directives when we are trying to test the directives which are custom directories and all those things like router element and inbuilt directories we are trying to use we can use this debug element so that this debug element can able to detect so you can traverse something like by dot directive you can use this by dot directive like this so right now we are using by dot css so we are learning first time so like this i am showing so going on we will be using this debug element to write more more code uh, regarding this by dot directive and all those things we will be able to see so to test the directives in a component template also and also for uh, testing the child components and all these things also this debug element will be very useful whereas this native element using this native element we cannot test the child components and directives and all those things so hope you understood about this debug element and its uses also so this is how we will be traversing in that component template using this debug element and the native element hope you understood about this one If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you